Hi guys, Dr. B here. This is your lecture for the mole in Avogadro's number. So when you're looking at this lecture, you need to have your periodic table ready, the laminated sheets ready if you're in class, um, because that's a tool that you're going to be using when we are going to be using the mole and using Avogadro's number, when you're going to be using these things quite a bit, you know, throughout the rest of the school year. So this past unit with the balancing equations and coefficients and and all that we're just going to be adding another tool that you're going to be using uh, throughout the school year which is going to include the balancing equations mole of Avogadro's number and then it'll lead into something else called stoichiometry uh, later on <coughs> so nearly all calculations are in chemistry are based on the mole and the mole um, the general idea with this is that chem chemists like to uh, think in terms of particles, and this is what using this um, number, this term will allow us to do. Um, so, <clears throat> so the mole is a specific number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23. It is has its own special name, and it's called Avogadro's number. Godro, not Gardo, I'm gonna say that. You are gonna be using this number every so often. Um, you're gonna hear this name again later on. It should be Avogadro, I'm gonna say Avogadro. <clears throat> so you gotta think of the mole as a counting unit. So <clears throat> one dozen donuts, 12, obviously. One billion, a, a billion is one, you know, but a billion, blah, blah, blah. A, when you talk about something, a gross, that's 144 of something. Or God help me. <clears throat> when we before that game it starts with an F came out, and uh, people actually knew what a fortnight was. A fortnight is fourteen days. So um, that's yeah. So it really, as much as it pains me to say this, yeah, one fortnight is fourteen days. Uh, so I can imagine some of y'all be pretty happy when you hear this part of the lecture. Uh, you know. At, that you're supposed to be watching you yeah. anyway so what is one mole one mole is one Avogadro's number of anything <clears throat> so one mole of water molecules is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 water molecules so like if I said one dozen mole water molecules that's 12 water molecules so one mole of donuts is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 donuts which would be a lot of donuts uh, one mole of dollars 6.022 times 10 to the 23 dollars. You don't have to convert that like with that like scientific notation. That's already done for you, so you don't have to worry about it. So like it's given to you, you just need to learn how to use this number correctly, especially when you use a calculator. So using moles. The, th the thing we have to think about is if we have four dozen moles, we know four times 12, four times a dozen is 48. If you have four moles of donuts, Kind of like Homer Simpson, hashtag not sponsored by the Simpsons, Disney, Fox, etc. Blah, blah, blah. So don't take this away from me. If I have four moles of donuts, how many donuts do I have? Well, it'll be four times 6.022 times 10 to 23. Like you'd have to put that in the calculator, which hopefully you guys have, by the way. <clears throat> so the molar mass, this term right here. Uh, the unit is going to be gram per mole or g slash mole. You'll see this quite a bit. And I'm going to show you how to use this unit correctly, and you need to pay attention. That's the crux of this lecture. The one mole, that's so I'm sorry, the molar mass of a species, meaning not like not like a species, like of an animal or something, well, mole, but the molar mass of a species, so like of a chemical species, like of oxygen or you know, dioxygen or carbon dioxide. The molar mass is the mass of one mass in grams of one mole of that species. So that's the technical definition of molar mass. It's confusing, um, but I will help you out with that. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at so by definition the atomic mass of, for example, the twelve of the carbon twelve atom is twelve point zero zero AMUs or atomic mass units. So one mole of carbon twelve atoms has a mass of 12.00 grams and in that mass of 12.00 grams which is one mole of carbon 12 
is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 carbon 12 atoms. So just because you have, you can have any compound or any element and one mole of that is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms or molecules or whatever, or that will equal also the molar mass that you can just kind of get from the periodic table. Okay. That's what we're looking at. So if you're looking at the periodic table in the class, do not use the atomic number. Use the mass number. You're going to use grams per mole of, um, you're going to use these numbers quite a bit. So just kind of get used to it. And in fact, you may get to the point where you are going to just remember, like you're just going to know it just because you use it so much. And it's going to be kind of crazy. Like some of you are like, I don't believe that. It's true. Like you're going to see it. You're like, oh, I say carbon. You're going to tell me, oh, it's 12.01 grams. If I say oxygen, you're going to say 16.00. If I said iron, it's 55.85. Again, I don't have the periodic table in front of me right now, but like you're going to use it so much that you're going to know some of these by heart. And if I even give you the compound, you're going to know it. So it's going to be kind of crazy, not going to lie. So the atomic mass of hydrogen, meaning looking at the periodic table, just 1.008 grams of hydrogen. So like this right here, that is 6.022 times 10 to 23 atoms of hydrogen. And that's one mole of hydrogen H by itself. I know you're like, oh, what is diatomic, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm talking about just the hydrogen atom looking at that. The atomic mass of nitrogen is 14.01 AMUs. 14.01 grams of nitrogen is one mole of nitrogen. And that also is 6.022 times 23 atoms of nitrogen. So if you look at what, you have, what I have written down here, here and here, you'll notice that one mole of H equals 1.008 grams of H. That equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of H. So you'll notice that it's still one mole equals the Avogadro's number. And um, the molar, the mol but notice that the mass, the AMUs, that number is changing because the thing is changing. Like the substance, the species is changing from hydrogen to nitrogen. But in the end, one mole of H is 1.08 grams of H, but that's also 6.022 times 10 to 23 H atoms. One mole is 14.01 grams of nitrogen for nitrogen, and then it's still the same number. So remember, one mole of anything is the molar mass of that subject, of that species, and also Avogadro's number. So like I said, it depends on what you have. So the molar mass of an element is the mass in grams of one mole of that. One molar mass of hydrogen is 1.008 grams of hydrogen. And for nitrogen, 14.01 grams. We can use the term molar mass to apply to... Uh, it also applies to compounds like CO2, H2O. So just kind of, uh, just kind of keep that in mind. You'll hear these quite a bit from me. So from me, I'm sorry. Uh, the terms molar mass, Avogadro's number, grams per mole, you'll see these a lot, till basically till the end of the semester. Um, so you really need to commit to this, because if not, if you're just going to blow this off, you're going to struggle, and so it is what it is. So mass to mole or mole to mass conversions of one of the same species. So that means like if I want to convert to grams, which is mass, or to, to moles of a species, um, it's the same thing. So it's the same substance. So I'm telling you that in the molar mass of 55 of, of iron, I'm sorry, is 55.85 grams, and that equals one mole of that of iron. And you can actually rewrite these things as conversion factors. Remember that term conversion factor we mentioned before. We talked about that with dimensional analysis. So now we're going to kind of use dimensional analysis. Uh, to do this. So if you don't know dimensional analysis, hopefully you learn it now. And if you don't remember it, but you remember doing well with it, it will kick in. <clears throat> so you can write out this fact as conversion factors. So 55.85 grams of iron over one mole of iron. Or, and you can flip it, remember, like our dominoes that we talked about before. One mole of iron 
over 55.85 grams of iron. So you're going to think of these conversion factors you're going to use the molar mass for as your um, domino that you're going to flip. Okay, so I will use that terminology like I used way back when, way back last year. So hopefully you remember that. And if not, then you're learning now. You can do this for all elements. Okay. <clears throat> so let's say I have 10 grams of iron. I want to convert this to moles of iron. Okay. So remember our conversion factor, it is 55.85 grams of iron over one mole of iron or one mole of iron over 55.85 grams of iron. I can choose which way to flip it based on the question, my knowns and my unknowns. I know that I have 10 grams of iron. I want to convert to moles of iron. So I want to start with my known. It's going to be on the top 10.0 grams of iron. Notice how it's not per anything or slash anything, so it's going to be over 1. And I'm going to multiply by my conversion factors. I want to convert to moles. Of the two, which one am I going to use? The one with the grams on the top or the, or the moles on the top? So I'm going to use the one with the moles on the top. And why? Because it needs to cancel out, gentlemen. So if you don't know that, if you don't remember that, you're going to learn now, okay? So one mole of iron over 55.85 grams of iron. The grams, remember we're multiplying across and then dividing. So numerators all multiplied, uh, denominators multiplied, and then you divide. <clears throat> so your grams cancel out of iron. And you're left with moles of iron. So 10.0 divided by 55.85 will give me, I'm going to put what I have on my calculator, 0 0.17905 dot, dot, dot. Why did I do that? Because remember, in calculations for chemistry, we still have to follow our sig fig rules. Sig fig rules, remember, are based on the number, the least number of sig figs in the thing, because now we're just multiplying and dividing, guys. So the rule for multiplying and dividing in terms of sig figs, it is just whatever is the least amount of sig figs that is given in the question only. So do not make it one sig fig, oh, because it's one mole, no. Or it's 55.85, like no. Base it off the question in the problem. Three sig figs. 0 0.179 moles of iron oh don't forget box your answers so now these things you should know are coming up sig figs boxing your answers all that stuff Zero point three five zero moles of iron uh, converting to grams of iron <coughs> so 0 0.350 moles this abbreviation for moles is MOL, probably, I think it's a German thing or something, FE. Make sure you write out your units, gentlemen. You're going to have to do this. And I know it's going to be a pain for some of you, for whatever reason, but you need to. Because when we do stoichiometry, we're going to be converting from one element or molecule to another, to a different one. And you need to keep use the units to keep track of your work. And I'm trying to tell you this now so you don't... Uh, get frustrated later on when you may get it wrong because you're putting in the wrong stuff. So please, I will be harsh on this and grading this because I'm expecting you guys to be able to do this. And I have the rules because it's meant to help you, meant to help prepare you and guide you throughout the, um, this concept, throughout this, you know, rest of the semester. It'll make it less painful. So because I have moles of iron on top, I'll put one mole of Fe on the bottom and that equals 55.85 grams of iron. And it's only 55.85 because I'm using iron specifically. If I use carbon, it would be a different number. So I'm going to do my math. 0 0.350 times 55.85. And that gives me, let's double check, hold on one second. <clears throat> 
I got 19.5475, my calculator. Three sig figs only. Do not count that zero in the front for your sig figs. If you do, then you're going to get the wrong answer sig fig wise, and that points will be taken off. Three sig figs. Nineteen point five grams of Fe boxed in.